Hey everyone, it's Erin from the Inky Smiles Craft Lounge. I'm back again for a quick tutorial on how to make bling rings using coins and ring bases and some found fun items from my craft stash. I know it's been a while, but uh, here we go again. So the first thing we need, uh, the things that we're going to need for this uh, project are some punches. Depending on the size coin you need, you just can line up your coin on the on the uh, on a punched piece of paper, or you can actually measure. Um, you're going to need some glossy accents, inky or liquid glass, or DG3 art gel, or whatever type of glazing gel you want to use. You'll need some E6000 um, craft glue. This stuff's amazing. I've lost my lid, but you know my old uh, embossing stylus works great to plug that lid up. So far, all right. You'll need some scrap paper. This is just something from a sample, a sample from a manufacturer, and I'll just use it for some fun projects. You'll need some buttons. Any old buttons will do, or whatever found objects you want to embed into your gel. You'll need some coins. You'll need some ring bases. Um, these ring bases I ordered from, um, I ordered on Etsy. Came with, I think, probably a hundred of them, and they were pretty cheap, like under five dollars or something. And these are adjustable, so these are fabulous if you have little kids or whoever that you want to make rings for. Today I did it with my 4-H after school craft group, and they're little girls, and so um, they're junior high, and so we squeezed them down and they wore them on their, you know, either middle finger or pointer finger, and it was a lot of fun. Um, you'll also need some bling of some type. This is just, these are just some rhinestones that are self-adhesive which doesn't really matter because we're going to glue them on with glossy accents anyway. All right, so this is a ring that I actually made earlier, the first time I recorded this video, and I had no sound, so we're re-recording. This is take two. All right, so let me set this ring aside. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is flip your punch over so you can see what you're punching, and you can choose a color from wherever and I'll probably, since this would probably be a great, let's see here, I think I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna, with my old fingers, punch that out. Okay, set that to the side. Um, and this is something, this is what I would have done like two days ago before we started this, but for the purpose of this video and for quick television, this will work. Okay, so the first thing you should have done two days ago is prepare your ring base. And by, you're gonna do that by adding some of your E6000 glue to your ring base and set that down. Then you're gonna take your coin. Um, and disclaimer, uh, I understand you're not supposed to really do this with US currency, so maybe if you had some foreign currency or really old currency or fake coins or whatever, you could do that. So just giving you a disclaimer, um, you're going to Take your coin and you're going to add some glue to the back of that. All right, and you're gonna let this sit normally for, um, you know, three or four minutes or something and let that glue start to uh, do its magic so that when we put them together, the bonding actually happens. But I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. Then now is when I would be punching my, my uh, papers and fun stuff. So let's just, for the purpose of TV, we're just gonna do this and show you. We'll just press that down and then you want to get it good and seated in. Seat that onto that that base onto that coin or the coin onto the base. Now when I did all these for my class, I did a whole bunch of them all at once and then just let them sit in a co my old cookie tray, which is now my craft tray, upside down for two to three days. The ones that sat the longest had the, before I messed with them, had the best um, they had a really good bond, and so my ring didn't, it didn't move around at all. It wasn't loose. It had a good, solid, hard uh, bond. All right, so we'll do that. Now, so had this sat for a couple, of a couple of days, we would take our glossy accents and add some of this lovely adhesive to the top of our coin Spread it around there, good. All right, let's get a little more on there. And then we will take our piece of scrap paper that we've punched, place it down in that gel, 
and you want to make sure you actually get glue seeping out the edges of your paper so that it starts to encase it because we're actually going to encase this whole thing in goo. If you need to, you can set it to the, place it upside down and kind of smush it on your scrap paper just to get a really good seal there. All right. Now, if I had stamped on this, which you can do, and it's a really fun, um, a fun thing to do, to make to do if you use little tiny letters, you can do your, do a name or initials. Um, you could use embossing powder and stamp an initial and then sprinkle some embossing powder or embossing glitter on it, glam that up, and then we would top it with the glossy accents. But for this, I'm just going to layer it up with some fun little items. So I'm going to, um, oh, if you do stamp it or whatever, you need to seal it with some Mod Podge so that the ink doesn't run. Okay, so now I'm going to add a glob of glossy accents here because I'm going to put some I'm going to put a button on here and then some fun uh, bling so I'm going to put the button on and see the color just kind of peek out around that button so we're going to add that button press that down into that glossy accents gel glaze whatever you want to call it and then add take some more and now if I was doing this slowly, not for video, I'd probably let these dry a little bit more in between just so that they really don't move because when you start layering this up this fast, it's still sliding all around. So, all right, so now I'm going to take one of my rhinestones, pop that shiny baby off of there. All right, and then we're going to just, I think I'll, oops, put it right on the top. Like that. You know, one of my girls in class today actually did a few rhinestones around um, hers and it looked really cool. Maybe I'll do that. I'll add a couple more on here. Let's add a, another small one maybe. Kind of looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse. Let's see if you can see that there. There you go. You could add all kinds of fun bling onto these rings. They're tons of fun. But see what I mean? They're kind of, oops, sorry. It's kind of moving all around there. You can see that it wiggles in the gel. So I would probably have let this one sit before I do this last step. So let's just put that in there. And then I'll take my glossy accents and to prevent bubbles, don't do what I just did. Just maybe shake it off once, but don't shake it up and down. All right, so we're gonna add this in. We're gonna fill it in so that it's all encased in lovely glossy accent gel. All right, let's get that in there. We'll work it all around. And this is a fun little project you can do. You can put twigs in here or little stones. You know, if you have kids and you go on a treasure walk or something, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, let's add that in there. Cover. I'm covering. I'm even covering up my um, gems just so that they really stay inside. It's one big encased glob of glittery goodness. Now I could also go find some glitter and, because you know it's all about the details, sprinkle some lovely glitter in there. That would be really fabulous. But I think I'm ready for bed. So I think I'm just gonna call it good. Wipe off the tip of that and then put the lid back on and this is what we've got. So we have a fun little bling ring. you could have for any kind of fun occasion. Now, to, I would let this dry probably for at least overnight um, and you until that, uh, until this glaze, the glossy accents gel or glaze, whatever you want to call it, is 
clear. This is one I did earlier. It's getting a little more clear. I'm not sure if you can, there we go. You can see that. It's getting a little more clear. Don't touch it. I, um, for our girls tonight, I, put, I took some styrofoam and dug little holes in it with my nickels and then set these rings down in them so they could dry flat. Once it's clear, if you need to move your rings, once this is totally clear but maybe not all the way dry, you, it would be okay to set it like this to let it finish curing. But while this this, this liquid, you don't want to set it down like this because it will run down and you'll have a lopsided ring. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Um, I hope to have some more. I'll see what I can do and uh, hopefully see you again soon. Have a good, a good day and uh, have some fun creating. Icky smiles.